Live news, live sport. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. Well, uh, we're here as guests of 11 Signal Regiment and they've uh, been incredibly hospitable, so thank you so much for that. And thank you to the commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Matt Fensom. Matt, good morning. Good morning, Nicky. Royal Signals, what are you all about? What do you do? We're all about providing uh, battlefield uh, communications and information systems to commanders. Uh, and to do that, we um, have uh, young men and women who are trained in the, both the maintenance and the operation of a lot of high-tech um, equipment. As you can imagine, these days uh, there's an awful lot of um, equipment out there on the battlefield yeah. because of the amount of information that needs to be passed between different headquarters and, and between the, uh, the command elements. And uh, so Stephen Chittenden, as you know, our reporter, loves a bit of early morning boxing and uh, he's in the gym right now. Uh, Nicky, a bit of PBB here, a bit of pre-breakfast boxing in the gym with the recruits. There's about two dozen of them here, and would you believe this is uh, voluntary early morning boxing. There are circuits going on, so at the far end of the gym we've got sparring, they get two minutes, we've got people well, right in front of me just, uh, well, that, I don't know if you heard that, I nearly got taken out by a heavyweight there. Uh, Sam Gowling. You're a heavyweight, aren't you? Yes, sir, I am. Sir. Good morning. Uh, now, voluntary boxing, is it really voluntary? You, do you have to do it? You're a big lad, they say, you'll do. No, nah, voluntary, you get... O optional choice. Come up on parade one day. Who fancies boxing? Just sit your hand up, write your name down if you're up for it. If you're not, then fair enough. You're 18 years old. How long have you been in the army? Just short of two years. And why did you join? For this sort of thing? Yeah, for this basically. Enjoy sport. Don't like being in the, stuck in the classroom. So I thought, seems like a good thing for me, doesn't it? Respect to you all, not least because you're wearing boxing gloves. You're very big people. You're fit, and I would get hurt if I tried to take them on, Nicky. It's uh, it's very impressive and uh, a good whiff of boxing. Uh, to build up an appetite, if you know yes. what I mean. Stand easy. Oh, can we, that was tremendous. I'm uh, welcome back to the House of the Royal Corps Signals Blandford Camp in Dorset. When I say that's tremendous, I of course mean Matt's sports bulletin there. Uh, throughout this morning, we've been uh, looking here, though, at the problem that the army faces in recruiting. The strength of the UK regular armed forces has fallen by just over a third since 1990, and the UK's defence spending as a proportion of GDP is at its lowest since 1931. But how does it affect those joining up? Well, I'm on parade uh, with uh, RSM Simons. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Nicky. Can we do a bit of shouting? Can I do a bit of shouting? Of you can, yeah. Can yeah. you shout first? Yes, OK. Parade! Parade! Turn! What were you shouting there? Can you speak, speak what you said? We're calling them to attention. Well, what, what did you shout? Uh, parade, parade shun. Right, can I do that then? Of They're already at attention though. Yep. Why can I shout to make them do something? If you say stand at ease. Parade stand at ease. Yep. Stand at ease! Oh, blimey. It's amazing, isn't it? Don't laugh! <laughs> Don't laugh at me! Who are you? I'm a cut line sticky. You've got a tremendous shouting voice. Do that like for that. us again. Go on. Well, I don't want to sort of... You know, no, no, it's all right. Speakers just, at home just, just do what you did there. About ten! Oh, blimey! You got all high at the end. Can I try that one? Go on. Then. About ten! <laughs> more practice, Nicky, more practice. What's your job, Corporal? Um, I'm the induction training couple, Nicky, and uh, basically when they come from phase one training, they'll come to me for the initial first week's um, induction course. And basically that is a heads up for them, so, so they can expect... What, uh, from us, the, the, the sort of instruction they're going to receive, and also tells them about the laws and the boundaries within the garrison, and, it, and, and that's, that, that's it in a nutshell, really. Yeah. Action man Stephen Chittenden is elsewhere on the camp. Where are you, Stephen? Nicky, I'm in one of the A, B! Oh, I can't do it. It's an A, B, it's an accommodation block, and uh, I'm just sort of chewing the fat with some of the guys, some of the SIGs, as we like to say here down on uh, Blanford camp. So, uh, anyway, so we're all sitting around chatting, as you do, when what happens is the corporal comes in, and uh, he... Uh, boom, he's the, boom, oh, jump! Here we go. I think the inspection's just about to start. Space. This is uh, Corporal Jason Whitehead, and he's about to uh, inspect SIG Tom... I'm going to get out of the way. Thompson, what's your name tag? It's in the tailors, Corporal. How long have you been here? Eight weeks, Corporal. Eight weeks. Get that sorted out. Corporal. Now he's just making his way over to his wardrobe. They've only had about two weeks' notice, so uh, let's hope everything's ship shape. Thompson, are these your best boots? Yes, Corporal. Oh, dear. More effort required. Boots have been chucked out. Not going very well, is it? No, it's not, no. Thompson, why have you got two irons? Uh, this one is broke, Corporal. So what's it doing up there if it's knackered? He's got two irons, he's in trouble. One's broken and he hasn't chucked it out. What, what will this mean? Um, I don't know at the minute, see how it goes after it's finished. 
Okay, well, look, I think we better leave uh, leave you guys the inspection. Uh, not going too well for uh, Sig Thompson there, is it? Could have been better, definitely. Um, I went on uh, an exercise uh, yesterday, um, and uh, basically uh, I went to um, try my hand at a bit of uh, what they get up to with uh, radio communications, and the man charged with teaching me was uh, Yeoman Sergeant Smudge Smith. I've got a scenario, got it written down. What sort of scenario is this then? Just effectively, they're going to move to a new location, do a route recce, a site recce, and they're going to establish communications from that location. Okay. Hello, Charlie, Charlie 1. This is Zero Radio. Check. Over. Delta 10, okay, over. Delta 40, okay, over. I've not had Delta 30 yet. They did answer. Did they? Yeah, I think they did. Didn't hear got, them? I think they got a hand pump. I'm useless problem. at this. <laughs> Okay, we've established the stations now. Right. Now okay. we're going to tell them to move. Okay. Hello, Delta Four Zero. This is Zero. Move to Sierra Tango Six Four Six Zero Five Two. Now over. Delta Four Zero. Roger out. I've been looking at some of the, the raw signals work, um, which is little different actually from that of a telephone um, engineer. The British Army communications in Bosnia were set up not with radios, but they put up the signals, put up six million pounds worth of overhead cable. So uh, these people have to sort of learn how to shin up and down telegraph poles, shin down them sometimes under fire. I suppose that's different from your average uh, telephone engineer in Britain. So uh, we've been having a go. Okay, so first of all, you address the telegraph pole. Address the pole. You climb via the rungs only, which is the horizontal part well, of the well, What else am I going to go up? You wouldn't hold onto the stars on the outside. Oh, I hold with yeah. my hands, you yes, mean? Oh, yeah. sorry, I thought you meant with my feet. No, no. Okay. Oh, you need to use your feet as well. Put so your feet on there. Do Don't that, put your okay? feet on the side. No. Okay. Hands and feet on there, yeah. three points of contact all the way to the top. Okay. Once you get to the top of the ladder, wait when you're eye level with the working steps, which are the two steps that are um, perpendicular to each other, up there. Okay. okay. And then we'll, um, you just put on your... All the rest of the annual. Around there, okay. Yeah. Okay, stop. It's not so easy leaning back when you're uh, this far up, is it? You get a good view, don't you, from the top of a. Well, not one inside a shed, but. Yeah, I tell you, you've got the shiniest boots I've ever seen in my life. What's your secret? Uh, a spit in polish, Nicky, really, yeah. Yeah. and a silver cloth. Yeah. <laughs> a nice one. Yeah. Well, I've, we've had a call from the Defence uh, Ministry, and in fact, they're relaxing the rules. And even at 45 years old, I can join the army. You can. I can come in there. So, are you going to teach me how to march? Right, okay. Well, from now on, I'll refer you to as uh, Private Campbell. You need to fall in at the front. Then. Private? Can I go in at the top? No. No, no. no. You have to go. You have to start at the bottom like everybody else does. Uh, I got to right. fall in at the front, right? Mm -hmm. okay. That means stand here. Put your hands by your side, Private. By Campbell. my side, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, quick march! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. How stupid do I feel? Very stupid, Sheila. Everyone's laughing at me, Sheila. Of course. your left heel strikes ground, you'll take one further march of pace, off three inches, and stand still. What? Sorry? Halt! Stand still! Whoa! Turn! Left, left, right, left. Sheila, Nikki? Uh, I think that's just about all for yeah. me. I'm having great difficulty keeping up here. As you say, it is privates on parade. Nikki. It's, it's carry on Campbell. The day you were our first line of defence, I STT, I shudder to think. <laughs> that's it from us Come today. Come on, we're off the air. Say goodbye, please. Bye-bye! <laughs>